All right, welcome to the Instagram Q&A. So a few days ago, I posted a photo on Instagram prompting anyone to ask anything. So thank you to those who sent in questions and let's get right to it. CACA underscore Zanatini Castilla says, what motivates you to take pictures? Ooh, well, you see, it just makes me so much money. And also, you know, I just love taking selfies. So really, um, anyone who's ever taken photos and makes money from it knows that taking photos is not a great way to make money. So I like taking photos for two reasons. A, I was never that good at drawing or painting, so I feel that taking photos is a great way to express creativity. You can look at a tree and enjoy the color and the texture, but then you can take a photo of it and it becomes a whole new thing and enjoy it in a whole new way. And B, I'm actually not that in love with the process of pressing the button. I think the camera is just a great tool for capturing awesome adventures. Exploring this world and being able to relive it later is the primary motivator. Mr. Kenny Koo says, what's on your bucket list? Well, there's many things on my bucket list, but way up there is the fjords of Norway. They are so crazy, so beautiful, but unfortunately Scandinavia is so expensive, so I probably won't be traveling there anytime soon. Annalisa says, what are your future destinations or future adventures? Next stop is probably to the UK. I have lots of family there so I'm going to be visiting them and hopefully staying with them and then Ireland and Scotland look crazy beautiful and I want to check out some of the locations there. So next year I plan to go to South America. Living Like the Renegade says what's the most thrilling thing you have done this past year and what are you most scared about for the future? Probably the most thrilling thing I did this year was my trip to Iceland. I'll put the link to the video at the end credits. Iceland was just so good it felt fake. It felt like it was a set from the Game of Thrones. Oh wait, it is a set from the Game of Thrones. What am I most scared about? Well, I recently just quit my job in order to pursue this nomadic style photography, videography, filmmaking full time. So I'm most apprehensive about it falling flat on its face. And Morristan Vord, 1999 says, what's your favorite stabilizer lens and favorite city? So I've had this question about my gear quite a bit. So I'm filming on a Beginner DSLR. It's a 600D or a T3i. And this is my favorite lens. It is a 10 to 20 mil wide angle. Currently making it work, but I have ordered a new GH5 with a new 7 to 14 and 12 to 35 millimeter lens. So I am super excited for that to arrive. And I've also ordered a Jiyun Crane hand stabilizer. So the next three questions I got, I'm actually gonna make separate videos about them all because they're big topics and I can't fit them all into this video. So I'm just gonna read them now. So Archive Moments asks, can you lay all your gear out and explain what you use? So I like to keep all my gear really small and compact into one bag. Also, where to stay in different places of the world. That's from Lin Tuari. And the next question is Herbert the Canoe saying how to build a following. So those three questions I'm going to make into separate videos, so stay tuned for those. Munoz Yuli asks, how are you able to travel so often? And where do you live? I worked for four years in education in China. I was able to travel to many of the surrounding Asian countries in the four years because the teacher has lots of time off. And currently, I'm living with my brother in Calgary, Canada, which is close to the Rocky Mountains, so it's perfect. It only takes me around 45 minutes to an hour to get out there. Emily Miracle 33 and Ludwig Pictures underscore picture, Ludwig underscore pictures, they say, do you have any jobs besides social media? And this next one is, how do you make money with your content? Well, I actually make very little money from social media and from my content. So the only money I do make from it is a little bit from YouTube because I had a few videos go viral and Jukin Media, which is a licensed company, ended up taking on those videos and they pay me every so often when people license them or there are lots of views on those videos. But otherwise, I make very little money from social media. There are many ways to make money online, but at the end of the day, you need to be either providing a good or a service for you to sell. So if you're good at what you do, then people will come and pay. I'll definitely be including ways I do that in future videos when I'm on the road and traveling. But currently, I'm not making money doing this. Besides a little bit of money from Google AdSense, but that's like 10 bucks a month. I believe the best way to make money and travel is to teach English overseas. If English is your native language and you have a university degree, send me a message and I will set you up with a great contact or an interview so that you can experience a new country, a new culture, and be able to travel on all your time off. It is pr 
the best way to introduce yourself to traveling and living overseas. So think about it. While the English language is still in demand, you're young and energetic. Take advantage, seize this opportunity. Christoph Trollip says, what did you do while you were in Shanghai? And also, what's your thoughts on South Africa? Firstly, South Africa, yes, it's way up there on my list, but I probably won't make it there until 2019. So like I mentioned before, while I was in Shanghai, I worked at a Canadian international school. I was a vice principal. On the weekends though, I explored the city. It is the greatest city I personally ever explored. It's very modern like Dubai, but it's also very ancient and has a great history. It is perfect for rooftoping and urban photography. If you haven't seen my latest video, then I will include it on the screen at the end of the video. Oh, and I can't forget the delicious street food. Shalom Bao. Wicole Knotson says, what do you use to edit your video? I currently edit with Final Cut Pro. I was going to switch to Adobe Premiere, which is the industry standard, but my workflow with Final Cut Pro has become fairly quick and I found workarounds and adaptations for, for most things that I need. I also feel like the layout is much simpler and intuitive. So when starting with an editing program, I would suggest using Final Cut over Adobe Premiere, which looks a little more intimidating to begin with. Sue underscore Zan says, can we have some tips for editing nature photos? All right, I'm going to provide one of my presets for free, and this is one of my favorite presets. It can be used for nature photography or urban photography and it makes the blues slightly more aqua and gets those greens and makes it more, look more like a sunrise or a sunset. Last couple questions from archived underscore moments and Biljaza, Biljaza says, what inspires you to travel so much and does exploring make you feel more free? The feeling of waking up in the morning and knowing there's no nine to five job that's holding me back from going anywhere and doing anything is one of the greatest feelings I've ever come to know. I've had to make sacrifices with relationships and not being able to see family enough. But I feel like in order to get what you really want in life, sacrifices need to be made. So that's it. That's all the questions I'm going to answer for now. So thank you to those who sent in those questions. If you aren't already subscribed, here's why you should consider it. I'll be providing weekly videos about travel destinations, photo video editing techniques, travel hacks, bargains, deals, camera stuff, nomadic living, etc. So subscribe and join this small community. It would help me out and it could also provide you with some value. All right, so don't forget to leave a thumbs up and leave a comment if you'd like to see something covered in more detail in the comment section below. See you next week. Take care.